Okay, you won't believe it, or at least I'm not believing it, because doing stuff like that is quite untypical for me. I'm about to meet with a stranger to go to the museum. First of all, it was very spontaneously. I saw that an exhibition I really want to see is ending on the 17th of January and today is the 9th of January and also a Sunday and under the week I won't be able to visit the museum before it's closing because of my working hours and today is the last chance for me and um, quite some time ago a girl from Toronto reached out to me via Instagram because she saw my moving to Berlin vlog because she was about to move to Berlin just like me for her graphic design design internship semester and we wanted to meet each other and it was very spontaneously but um, I asked her if she wants to come with me. I'm about to meet her, I'm quite excited. Um, yeah. Okay, the exhibition and meeting her was very nice and we will actually see each other um, in about two weeks again for another exhibition we want to see. And she even brought me this little maple syrup from Canada, super sweet. Yeah, so I'm very looking forward to see her again and also to see the next exhibition. I always start my paintings with a preliminary drawing and then work my way up from there step by step. And since quite some time I try to get into the habit of working mostly from dark to light to be more coordinated during the whole painting process. And I absolutely love to add the highlights at the end because I think that gives the overall painting a lot more. Since I mainly want to portray feelings and also evoke them in the viewer as so often i have painted a person with a rather expressive face i would say but in general one cannot say exactly what is going on inside of them and this leaves room for interpretation and each person has the possibility to see something different in it and therefore to feel it too at one of the exhibitions i participated in back in aachen in the past there was a huge vernissage. Since many artists took part, the visitors usually didn't know who the artists of the various paintings were. And the best thing about that is that I could stand unrecognized next to my paintings and listen to the honest reactions and interpretations, which was pretty cool. Okay, painting this part was so scary to me because painting water is still a very hard task for me. So when I had to paint over everything again with the watery grey-blue shade to give the impression of a body underwater, I really didn't know if it would work or if I would just mess up my whole painting.
this is what happened when I wanted to grab another pretzel. <laughs> a lot of weird things can happen when you're concentrated. Once I almost drank pain water and I only realized it in the very last second when I was about to drink like that. And I don't know how many times I've washed up my brushes inside of my tea or my water or whatever. What will happen next? Maybe one day I will be so concentrated I will be dipping my snacks inside of my acrylics. We shall see. <laughs> so annoying but i really need to finally clean up my color palette often there is still some paint left and not to waste it i make garbage back around it so that it doesn't dry out so quickly so that accumulates then until it is no longer bearable and that point of time finally came boyfriend gave me this amazing Strathmore sketchbook. Since it has super thick paper I can finally paint with watercolors and acrylics in my sketchbook without any worries. And the first page of a new book always makes me a little nervous. Ever since I was a child it has happened in almost every case that I have either glued or torn out the first page of really any book I started with, even in the so-called friendship books that we exchanged with each other as children, I always had to glue my first attempt shut because something went terribly wrong again and that's why I even start on the second page of my sketchbook sometimes to avoid that. And I don't know what it is about the first page, but I definitely have to get rid of the fear of ruining a beautiful book. I mean, it's meant for working and experimenting. As I've told you a few times by now, I try to invest more time in loose practice and experimentation to become more secure and free. That's why I also approach the preliminary sketches very loosely here and try not to be too perfectionistic. My camera for Polaroids is quite old by now and sometimes it unfortunately doesn't work properly. Um, when my boyfriend visited me in Berlin for a weekend recently, we tested it again while I was painting the irises you see here on the sketchbook page. In my latest art vlog I showed you my illustrations on cups and a person wanted to buy this one. Um, it says stop trying to be the person they want you to be and become their waking nightmare. And she particularly asked me if it's possible for me to change the word person into the word grandma because she told me that since quite some time she always gifts her grandma and I quote her now cool and feminist stuff which I think is hilarious so of course I said yes and uh, yeah now I'm going to switch up the word inside of the illustration and um, let the mug be printed and I will also let it directly be sent to her 
so I will pack her a little envelope with postcards and stickers as a little thank you and we'll send it to her. Okay, it may sound strange, but I used this box before in my fridge to store small tomatoes and mushrooms. Since my fridge is very small, I had more available space using that. But since the mushrooms didn't fit in most of the time, only one drawer was occupied by the tomatoes and I decided that I would rather use it for my postcards so that I always have them at hand. At the end of the day, it's a bit more practical for me. <laughs> I'm about to go to the print shop right now because I want to digitize my latest paintings. And I also want to make prints out of them because I got the question if I already have some and I also wanted to have prints of them here. Yeah, that meets well. And I also want to reprint some prints of this big canvas you see in the background, Story of a Hurricane. And um, I'm curious because I've never been to that print shop before or to any print shop in Berlin in general. And back in Aachen I found the print shop I preferred to go to. Over time we fine-tuned everything and figured out which settings for the scanner work best to come as close as possible to the colors of my original paintings when it came to digitization and also when it came to printmaking of course. Yeah and now I have to figure it out again and um, the print shop I'm about to go to is very huge and they told me that you have to scan your stuff there yourself so I will see how it goes but I'm optimistic that it's going to work out somehow but I'm looking forward to have prints of them here and I'm always a little paranoid that something is going to happen to my originals and that they will be gone forever so I'm always happy to know that I have at least saved them in a digital way so yeah so the first print shop was unfortunately a total waste of time and money. I didn't like the quality at all and I don't sell anything I'm not happy with myself. Thankfully it worked out better the second time and I also ordered postcards of my new paintings and I'm really excited for them to arrive. Um, yeah, printing is always a bit tricky as every printer and scanner can come up with different results, especially when it comes to colors. And balancing that out is not easy and makes it even sadder that I can no longer go to my regular printer. Anyways, there are now finally prints of my two new paintings and also again from my big canvas available. I want to open an online store in the next year at the latest and if you want to have prints, mugs or such or also want to place a commission in the meantime you can always message me via Instagram and we can talk about everything in person. This has always worked super well so far and was very uncomplicated. Yeah, until next time I am glad you chose to spend your time with me. And goodbye.